Hi, Chris from Tommy Toothpaste Toys here and welcome to another haul video. So I went to a car boot and it was quite overcast and pretty windy but it was dry so there was a bit of a turnout um, but it's definitely getting towards the end of the season. So without any further ado let's, let me show you what I got. So I got this massive, really doesn't fit well, he's like 14 inches tall, he's bloody huge, um, VR Troopers, Ryan Steele really nice looking pretty good condition a few tiny little marks but not a lot and really good condition and he still turns and everything really awesome looking Let's see if i can fit this guy in i can't really he's like he's massive awesome i got this i think it's called police power force um for a couple of quid yeah it's it's from 1988 i don't actually know this line but it's pretty awesome it looks slightly beetleborgy with this little antenna on top but really awesome really liked him I got this random Batman really weird his cowl is a bit taller than normal the ears on it really cool like the look of him and that is 1997 pretty awesome Just balance them all on this guy if I can so he says right, there we go. I got this Dick Tracy diecast car, police car, really nice condition actually, a um, little bit of bending on the cards but still pretty awesome, slight creasing there but really good and that is 1990, I can't believe that, doesn't feel like that long ago that film. <coughs> I've got a couple of little bits, I've got this Dragon Ball guy, I've forgotten his name, let me zoom in a bit, got him. And this little guy, I don't know if it's from Digimon or Yu-Gi-Oh or something, I'm not entirely sure. I just realised a little bit of damage there as well, oh, that's a bummer. But pretty cool. I got Space in Instinct. Sorry, Space Precinct, not Instinct. Pretty cool. They're not worth that much, but a couple of cool little figures. And then I never really find these. I see the McDonald's toys of these, but never really find these. Got some Tintin figures. Really nice ones. He's got a little bit of rubbing on his nose there. I've got Snowy there. Bit of a bummer because Snowy's meant to have a big bone here as well, but I couldn't find that. I got this cool Tintin as well. Uh, I've got this guy whose name escapes me. In fact, I don't even recall seeing this guy. And I totally forgot this guy. Is it Captain Haddock? I think so. He's a cool character as well. So really awesome. There's not much branding on this. It just says ML. So not too sure what they are, but they're really nice looking figures. I got this G3 My Little Pony. Um, I think it's like a baby pony or something. Oh, I can't remember. Um, I'm not too good with these ones so I'll have to brush up on which one that is but pretty awesome this tiny little Yoda seen better days he's a bit dirty but does that say 1983 or 1993 I can't see it properly but if it's 83 that's Return of the Jedi but awesome got this Rugrats character I have no clue what is this one of Phil and Lil I assume this is Lil but I'm no, I don't know because um, they grow up, isn't there one where they grow up or something like that? St. Neots, I've seen that before. Is that the ones with the Looney Tunes figures as well? I think they're quite a good little house of making PVC figures. Got this Daisy, really nice looking. 2007, so it's pretty cool. It's crazy to think that's like, oh, like 17 years ago now. It's nuts. I got this really funny character from Ruster Mouse. Those of you who don't know, anyone overseas, Ruster Mouse was a BBC series. Really cool. It was like a Jamaican mouse and he had loads of friends. But this guy looks absolutely awesome. I mean, look at those kicks there. I have no clue who this guy is. I never used to watch it. I was too old when it came out, but really funny. And I got Barney Rubble. Really cool. What does that say there? Yeah, have a year on it does it no really cool though really nice i don't often see flintstones pvc figures but i really like him so 
So that is everything I got to sell on, but I did find something for myself. Um, really awesome. Really tough to pick this up and I got it for an absolute bargain. Um, these, all 12. And I have looked inside and it is literally all 12. So does it show brand new anyway? I think on the back of the box. I'll show just one of a bit of a sneak peek, but I'm so chuffed because I connect Kingdom Hearts and I love Kingdom Oh, here they are. Really awesome, Let's zoom in a bit. So, yep, every single one of these, so one in 12 chance of each. Collect them all, and this box has got every single one of them. So it's the full collection. Really awesome, shame they've been opened, but to be fair, I'll probably display them anyway. Make myself a Kingdom Hearts shelf now, I'm really chuffed to pick these up, literally get one collection all in one go. And yeah, I got it for an absolute bargain. Um, I got that for a tenner, so it wasn't even a pound each really really cool and the fact that I've got the display case as well so so chuffed so the sun is absolutely shining now here um, which is typical you know it was right overcast earlier so it probably put some people off um, how did everyone else do let me know please like subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you got up to what's your favorite bits that you picked up this weekend what's your favorite bits you thought I picked up um, for me definitely is this Kingdom Hearts set and I'll be honest, I really like the little Tintin bundle and this Ryan Steel VR Troopers figure. Awesome. Thank you very much. Check out any one of these two videos and I'll see you soon.